Inmates, reach out of your cell. Ed Townsend, I heard that you were the sheriff here. Dude, those were footsteps! What the heck is that? It's like all the way down at the end of that tunnel. He's gotta be down here. Oh, it was so low to the ground, like a little person. Oh. I've never been attacked before. Dude, this whole cell is destroyed. I don't even want to say what happened. I didn't mean to piss you off. I am currently at the most haunted jail in Indiana, completely by myself. I'm gonna be locked inside with the ghostly inmates back there and all the other spirits that are said to be here. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing because I investigate haunted places all over the Midwest all the time by myself on top of it. But anyways, I'm gonna give you the rundown of the history and the hauntings here, and then we're gonna get straight into the investigation. Established in 1879, the Blackford County Jail was once a functioning prison and sheriff's quarters until its closure in 1995. Interestingly, it is said that the notorious gangster John Dillinger once visited the jail under an alias while planning out his next robbery. Throughout its operation, the jail has seen its fair share of deaths. One prisoner charged with robbing the local bank would hang himself in his cell before his scheduled confession. In the late 1940s, Sheriff Optograft was shot and killed while responding to a domestic dispute. In 1977, after the death of Sheriff McCullum, Ed Townsend would assume the role as the new sheriff. He would pass away from a heart attack just four days into his tenure. It is even said that the attic was once used for public hangings on bad weather days. The old jail has since garnered a reputation as being extremely haunted. In the men's cell block, hard-soled shoes have been heard walking the catwalks. Disembodied voices and moans are said to echo from the empty cells. Those brave or foolish enough to enter one of these cells may receive scratch marks from an unseen force. One particular apparition is that of Sheriff Townsend, who has often been seen patrolling the old jail. Up in the attic, the spirit of a little girl has been seen and heard playing, and running up and down the floorboards. In the sheriff's living quarters, a phantom slipper has been seen appearing and disappearing in random areas. Down in the basement level, there is said to be a portal in which spirits can enter. Even deeper in the basement catacombs, a cryptid known in Native American folklore as a little person is said to wreak havoc. The entity has been seen running around, throwing rocks, and even leaving bite marks on intruders. The sun had plummeted below the horizon, and I would now set foot into the darkness of the old Blackford Jail. Hello? Is there anybody in here? I was completely alone. Sheriff? However, I did not feel alone. It felt as if there were invisible eyes everywhere intently watching me. Is it okay that I'm visiting tonight? Am I allowed to be here? I understand that this is a jail. I'm not sure what kind of authorization I need to be here, but if you're anywhere in here, could you give me a sign of your presence? I would sit at the kitchen table and invite any resident ghosts 
to join me in communication. If there's anybody in this jail, and you can hear my voice, could you come talk to me? Could you sit up one of these chairs? How about this one right across from me? Could you pull it out? I hear that there's a man by the name of Ed Townsend. I heard that you were the sheriff here. You passed away from a heart attack, but they say that somehow you're still here. <gasps> Holy shit, dude. Dude, those were footsteps. Holy shit. Walking in that room over there. Dude, that literally came from back there. Damn. Did you just walk? Was that you just walking? I freaking heard you. Holy moly. After nearly 40 minutes of silence, I am startled by heavy footsteps walking by the intake station. It sounded as if a large man was in the other room. Ed, was that you? But there was no man. I think I just heard you. Leaving this completely unexplainable. So it goes over here. I could have been walking across this floor. <gasps> Holy crap. My heart is racing already and I just started. What almost sounds like a chair creaking emanates from the sheriff's office. I think this was the sheriff's office. This is where he died. Oh my god. Dude, he actually literally passed away right here. Right where I'm standing, right by this door. This is where his desk was, and that's where he had the heart attack. Ed, are you in here? I swear to God, I just heard you. Or whoever was in here. I have a strange inclination that it's you. I don't know why. Ed Townsend. I've got a device with a green light. And it's sitting on that chair right there. If you sit down on that chair, It'll detect your presence. I hope you don't mind me visiting. My name is Ian. And I'm coming here with nothing but respect for you. And everything that you've done. I just... I'm just here because I... Want to get to know you. Get to know this jail. And figure out why... So many things are still going on to this day. I'm so sorry that you passed away so prematurely, right when you got the role too, the role of being sheriff. Is that why you still linger? All right, well, it's pretty quiet, so I think I'm gonna move on. Whoa, what the? Okay, Ed, I feel like you were definitely in here. What the heck it was that? That was so weird. What the heck? Dude, that literally sounded like somebody was in there. What the heck? It was so quiet in there. Like nothing was happening. 
And then right when I walk out, that happens. As I am leaving, I hear the odd sound of a coffee cup being set down. What's even stranger about this phenomena? Like, look, there's nothing, there's nobody here. Is that there was no coffee cup anywhere to be found. Where did that, what was that? Is there like a mug anywhere in here? There's nothing there. I don't see anything there, like a mug. It literally sounded exactly like a coffee mug. Dude, there's nothing on these tables. Nothing up there. Ed, I'm definitely not gonna try to tell you what to do being a sheriff, but man, like that was interesting. Could you do that again? It's dead silent in here again. You know what? I'm gonna try walking out again. Okay, Ed, I'm leaving for sure this time. No f***ing way, dude. Again! Again! Dude, there's weird sounds going on in there. Every time I walk out, it happens. That's twice. That can't be like a coincidence. It sounded like paper almost. Alright, Ed. I can't tell if you're like messing with me now or what. I mean, either way, it's fine. I'm enjoying this. I hear yet another strange sound while exiting the office. This time what sounds like papers being moved around. Could this be Sheriff Townsend's ghost, still fulfilling his office duties? I would now make my way up to the women's cell block. God, damn, that was just the floor. <laughs> I would conduct digital photography in the hopes of capturing any strange anomalies. I would ask questions in the hopes of garnering a response. What kind of crime did you commit? Was it pretty bad? Have you ever killed somebody? After no strained activity, I would proceed to the basement where many of the sightings of the little person have taken place. All right, this part is gonna scare me the most, I feel like, because what they say is down there is not a spirit. It's a living creature. Whatever the heck that thing is. I don't know. I don't know if I'm cut out to deal with something like that, but here goes nothing. It is so creepy down here. Hello? I was told that this is an evidence table. And I was told that some of these items are actually used in real crimes. As you can see, there's a lot of baseball bats. And well, if you got a good imagination, you can think of a lot of different uses for those. I kind of don't like having my back turned to those. <laughs> Hello? Is there anybody down here? Well, they say that this hole 
is a portal that spirits can enter. If this is indeed a portal to the spirit world, could you come up out of that hole? Float upward towards me. Little person. Are you down here? Are there any prisoners down here? This is where they kept the worst of the worst. Go! Oh. I hear what sounds like movement deep in the dungeon. Go! Oh. Go! Oh. Go! Oh. It is at this point I knew that there was something down here with me. I really don't want to go down there. What it was, I don't know. Would you go down there? I don't think any sane person would. But here I am. Hello? I think I heard somebody down here. Could you make a sound again? Little person? Are you a spirit? Or a living being? To be honest, I don't even know if this thing would speak English. I don't even know. What? Whoa. Dude, I think I just saw something. It's like a lot of the ground. At the end of the tunnel, you can see a very small light anomaly darting across quickly. It hovers low to the ground, as if it were a small critter or creature. <gasps> whoa, 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 what did I just see? What did I just see? I just seen something on the ground. Holy crap. It didn't look, it didn't look like a person though. I again capture this light anomaly hovering low to the ground. Was this the infamous little person in some sort of spiritual form? Looks more like an orb. Dude, whatever it was, it literally went into the other side. Little person, could you come out again? Oh. <gasps> Holy moly. Oh. I know something's down there. I have to go down there. But I really don't want to. At the same time I do. What the heck is that? It's like a light. It like it was like all the way down at the end of that tunnel. It was so weird. It was so low to the ground, like a little person. Like a little person. Except it didn't look like a person. It was just like a light. So I don't know, is it a living thing then? Is it a, or is it a spirit? I really don't know. You have no idea how scary it is down here. By yourself? On top of it? <gasps> Alright. I'm coming. I'm coming. This is where it was. It's like on the ground right here. And it went this way. Oh god. Oh god. I hate peeking around corners. <sighs> Could you show yourself? Just like you did. The shadows on the walls make it look like there's somebody peeking from this corner, but... Another corner. Oh, oh God. Oh my God. It is so scary down here. Oh. 
I don't see anything over here. Oh, creepy crawl space. Oh. I am not going in there. No. Little person. Are you in there? What oh, if it snatches my arm? I hear you. He's gotta be down here. Oh. Just got thrown at me. Oh. <sighs> Suddenly, rocks are thrown in my direction. I was shocked by this event and was fearful of hitting my head on one of the stone walls while dodging them. I have absolutely no explanation for this phenomena whatsoever. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I don't like that. I don't like stuff getting thrown at me. I do not like it. Okay, okay, I'm done. Once again, a rock is thrown, further reminding me that this is not my territory and I am not welcome. I do not like it. I know. I get it. Ran again. Ian running away from paranormal activity as always. I tell myself not to, but man, that was. I, I really don't like the idea of having something being thrown at me, especially in a place like that where it's all just solid stone surrounding you. Like I could hit my head in there. And like, it was small rocks, but dang, ah. Oh. <sighs> but I did run back in there. I stuck a camera in there. I stuck it down where the rocks were thrown and uh, I stuck it real low to the ground as well. So that if any little person runs out, I'll catch it on camera for sure. Still shaken up from the experiences down in the basement, I would explore the sheriff's quarters. So you're probably wondering why I'm down on the floor. And that's because I'm looking for this freaking slipper that they say appears every once in a while. Now if it was just a slipper, that wouldn't be too unusual, but this thing moves and it disappears. So how do you explain that? Honestly, I've never heard of anything like that. Honestly, if I find this thing, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I would never find this mysterious slipper. However, I would attempt contact with whoever or whatever is behind the strange phenomena. What happens next is by far one of the most bizarre experiences I've ever had. Who's behind the disappearing slipper? Because I'm not gonna lie, that's one of the strangest things I've ever 
heard. Are you a female spirit? What is your name? Did you once live here? Oh, oh what the f What the heck was that? Dude, something just hit me in the freaking head. What the heck was that? <gasps> Whoa! What? Is that a ring? Oh my god. Dude, I just got hit in the head with a freaking ring. Oh shit, I dropped it. Where did it go? Where did it go? I dropped it somewhere down here. Dude, what the heck? Like, who, who threw something at me? Some, something just hit me in the head. It was a ring. An old, ornate ring comes flying down the stairs and hits me in the back of the head. Oh, oh what the? Oh, oh, what the? Oh, oh, what the? You can actually see a glimpse of it flying through the air on the infrared camcorder. I have no earthly idea where this ring came from. I'm trying to find it, but I'm not seeing it. And after dropping it below the staircase, where the heck did it go? I would never see it again. Oh, I still got chills. Who knows what it's gonna throw? You gonna throw something else? Where did it go? I'm literally not seeing it. Didn't I literally just fell from here, right? I guess where my foot was, it was about right there. On that step, or that step, or it was one of these, but it had to have fallen like somewhere over here, but I'm not seeing it. Dang, I want to find this ring because that, that is really crazy. Okay, I'm gonna move this. I gotta be very careful because this stuff is very fragile. What the heck? Where did it fall? Somewhere over here? Okay, I'm genuinely lost. I don't know where this thing went. Dude, I just heard a woman. Okay, I'm going up, I'm going up, I'm going up. All right, screw the ring. I'm going up here. Hello? Hello? I just heard somebody. Oh, dude, I almost fell. I just heard somebody up here. Hello, ma'am. Were you, did you throw a ring at me? It's okay. I'm not mad. I just want to know why. Why'd you throw it? What if it disappeared? No, no. That's crazy. There's no way. I physically had it in my hand. You can clearly hear a woman's voice speaking out loud. I strongly believe that this ghostly woman is responsible for throwing the ring at my head. I feel like I'm going crazy. I cannot find this ring. I searched everywhere. I searched every inch of this. It's not on the stairs. It's not anywhere around here. Uh, look, I'm not gonna jump to conclusions and say that this ring disappeared, but it is really, really weird that I'm not finding it. It should be right here, but it's not. It's not there. That's literally where it fell. Where could it have gone? If I don't find this thing, this is by far the weirdest experience I've ever had anywhere. I had it in my hands. I felt it. It was a real ring, but I can't find it. I think I'm just, I think I'm just low on sleep. Maybe I'm just going crazy. I don't know. I would now pay a visit to the little ghost girl who haunts the attic.
don't know what's worse. The basement or the attic. Man, I hope there's no bats up here. I hear that there is a little girl up here. Could you give me a sign of your presence? I see that you uh, have some dolls over there. Could you move one of them? How about that ball? Could you move that? What is your name? My name is Ian. I'd just like to be your friend. Despite the silence, I knew intuitively that I was not alone. Actually, what's interesting over here is that there's a noose. And this is where those hangings are said to have taken place. You can actually see the trap door underneath that. Is there anybody here that was hung from this? Whoa. Dude, I think I just saw an orb fly by that thing. If that was you, could you do that again? Were you hung here? Were you executed here? Dude, oh my god, dude, oh my god, dude, that thing is swaying back and forth, I can't believe that, dude, it's literally just started swaying back and forth, dude, now it's slowing down, it stopped, Dude, <laughs> what the f Not only does this orb manifest near the noose, but it actually begins to swing on its own. This attic had no windy drafts that could explain away this phenomena. As eerie as this was, something even scarier was about to occur. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, my light is dying. I can't stay up here. I can't. I can barely see my freaking flashlights dying too. Alright, alright. I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm sorry, little girl. Thank you. You can actually hear the stuffed animal hitting the floor as it is being tossed. I unfortunately did not capture it on camera. However, if you listen closely, I did manage to capture something else. faint little girl's giggle emanates from the darkness. There were no children in this building, and I have no reasonable explanation for any of the phenomena that has just taken place. Dead hour had arrived, and I would serve time in the men's cell block. Oh man, to think my night's not over. I still got this. There's one heavy duty door. There'd be no escaping this place.
Inmates, can you hear my voice? Reach out of your cell if you can hear my voice. Could you wave at me? Dude, if that actually happened, I would freak. All right, inmates, I'm coming. Is there anyone in this cell? Could you give me a sign if you're in there? How about this one? Is anybody in this cell? Oh, shit. My battery just died. Well, as you could probably guess, it was brand new. That's not a good sign. That means that something's about to happen. Alright, back in business. The atmosphere felt cold, dark, and isolating. Hello? As I passed by every cell, are there any inmates still hanging around this cell block? The image of someone staring back at me would flash in my mind. How about in here? I captured this unexplained mist in the cell where a bank robber had once hung himself. Whoa, I just got like a mist-like thing in here. Wait a minute, I think this is the cell where, the, where he committed suicide. Was that you I just seen? In the photo taken afterward, it is completely gone. No, oh, there's nothing in that one. Dude, that was a straight up anomaly in here. And I caught it. Thank you. I know you're in here. Whoa. It's cool in this room. Way cooler. Are you sitting on your bed? Could you make a sound? I would sit in the cell and attempt contact with his spirit. I'm sorry that you felt the need to turn to suicide. I know what you did was wrong, but uh, I still have empathy for you as a human being. And is there anything that you would like to say? I receive an intelligent response to one of my questions on the voice recorder. What's interesting about this response is that the bank robber told the police that he would confess the following morning. It is that very morning he would be found dead in his cell. While doing more photography, I capture yet another photo. This time what appears to be orangish eyes staring at me through the bars. Just checking in. Not only did I not notice this capture, I would also receive a threatening message on the voice recorder. Making sure y'all are in your cells like you're supposed to be. I had no idea that this entity was threatening my life, and nothing could prepare me for what was about to occur. What the heck was that? 
Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the? Oh, look at it. Dude, holy sh! Something fucking just destroyed that cell. This entity was strong enough to levitate the mattress off of the cot and slam it to the floor. I unfortunately did not capture this event on camera. However, you can still hear the phenomena on the audio. This event left me terrified to continue. Oh shit! Oh god. However, I had previously vowed to myself not to run again. I really don't want to go in there. I really don't. I would regret this decision. Come oh, on, Ian. Just go. Just do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I bet it piss you off. Holy shit! Holy shit! Dude, this whole cell is destroyed! Did I make you angry? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to piss you off. Perhaps running from the unknown is the smart thing to do, for we cannot fully grasp what these entities are capable of. As I entered the cell, I feel a strong unseen force shove my chest violently, causing me to stumble backwards. I do not know if what I encountered was an angry spirit or something darker. After this experience, I was in a state of shock and could not mentally process what just occurred. Alright guys, I'm done. I'm not investigating no more. I think enough's happened. I don't even want to say what happened. I got pushed. Something literally shoved me. So hard, I almost fell backwards. And I could have hit my head on the solid granite wall. I could have been knocked out. I love doing this, but I feel like it's only a matter of time before something really bad happens. I feel like so far I've been lucky. That's the first time I've ever been attacked. I've never been attacked before. I'm numb. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what to think. Should I be happy? Should I be terrified? But thank you guys for watching this. Thank you. Thank you for everything. And like I mentioned before, comment your thoughts. Have you ever been pushed by a spirit before? That's the first time for me. Holy sh I'm, just, I'm speechless. I just don't even know what to say. I'm just... So much has just happened. I'm just like... I'm just at my wit's end. I'm just glad it's over. I'm just glad I'm done.